What is going on, Movie Meals? Three videos, one sweater. Let's go. Uh, we're a little late on this one because we've been just, guys, it's been a long end of the year. <laughs> let's just be <laughs> honest. All of, all of you, let's be honest. So we've been a little behind. We got some good reviews up. We've got finally doing movie reviews. We've got some good trailer reactions up. So we're going to review Crimes of Grindelwald, Fantastic Beast. You know why you're here because it's in the... the uh, the title, and uh, we're just gonna get into it. Make Kyle, I'm gonna Kyle go first uh, sure. because we've had debates about yes, this film, we, yes, we have. Uh, which is interesting because we agree on a lot of things. But, yeah, yeah. But let's uh, let's dive into it, Kyle. The positives. I know you got You got to start positive. Sure. On the crimes of Grindelwald. Sure. Um, I think visually it is a very visually well done. <laughs> looks movie. good. It looks Good. No, I mean, I mean, the cinematography on it is pretty good. There's some action shots that I, I enjoyed, especially in the beginning. There's a really cool one with the uh, carriage scene. You guys have seen bits of that in the trailer. Uh, and I think for what the actors are given, like they, they do a good job. They give solid performances, uh, especially Jude Law. Jude Law is like the standout in this movie. I really enjoyed his uh, take on young Dumbledore. And I would say Johnny Depp is actually fine as Grindelwald. Like he's you not don't bad. hate him. No, you don't you hate don't. him at all. His performance is okay. So like, relax about it. Although personally, I would still want Colin Farrell as the villain, uh, just because I think I like him more as an actor over Depp personally. But uh, Depp is still solid. So I, and that's the same with the rest of the actors, including um, Eddie uh, um, Eddie, Eddie Redmayne. Redmayne. I'm sorry, Eddie Mercury. Eddie Redmayne as uh, Newt. He's he's probably like one of my favorite characters in this franchise as well. I thought you didn't like Newt. Well, at this, I mean, I, I, to, there's the characters aren't great, but he's at least like enjoyable to watch in in moments. All right, so my pot, you're right. Looks stunning, great CGI, great work. Uh, I I enjoy a good few of the characters. Uh, boop, gotta fix some camera stuff. I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy the characters for what they're given. Yeah, they're not. We'll get in that in the negatives. They're not given the best material, I don't think, to work with. But I think they all, all of them do a fantastic job. Dumbledore is the highlight of this film. Yeah, yeah. He is absolutely, and you can't get, I mean, it's Jude Law. Come on, what a, Jude Law's fantastic. And uh, he, he really is the silver lining. Johnny Depp has been an actor doghouse with me for a long time. He, he poked his head out during Black Mass, and then we oh, shoved yeah. it back in there with the next <laughs> Pirates. Uh, but he he doesn't go too over the top. Um, no. I, I don't love everything about him, but he is great. Yeah, I would have preferred probably Colin Farrell in that aspect uh, as the character from the first one uh, to just stay as Grindelwald. But um, yeah, I I, en I enjoyed it enough. I, I did like it more than the uh, the first one, which is where Kyle and I disagree. It was yeah, one yeah. story that I did I did enjoy uh, enough, uh, and there's some good action sequences. Uh, yeah. So Kyle, let's get into your negatives. This screenplay, man, is not good. It's not good at all. And I feel bad for saying that because J.K. Rowling wrote the screenplay for this. And I love her for the Harry Potter franchise. I love her for writing these books that we treasure so much. But I think when it comes to writing a screenplay, she can't quite make the mark on it. I think she's better with writing uh, extra long stories and in book form. So that way, like, you can really dive deep into these characters and these storylines a bit more to give more context and make us fall in love with these characters more. But... Here in Crimes of Grindelwald, like, it's not there at all. Like, these characters are, some characters are introduced where they just feel pointless and just not necessary for the story at all and just make them feel bloated. There's characters from the first movie that she just takes a twist on and it just doesn't quite land the mark and it just doesn't make you enjoy them as much as you did in the first one. And I think when it comes to its story, like, it's really missing the mark on why we want to see a Fantastic Beast movie. I mean, yeah, you can have the Grindelwald aspect to be a part of it, but really we want it for more of the Beast aspect. And really they're just an afterthought, at least in my opinion, to just remind you, remember, this is a Harry Potter world and it's supposed to be magical and the beasts are mad. Yeah, we get it, but if they're not critical to the story like they aren't in this one, then I don't. Then you really can't have them in this movie at all. They're just going to be an afterthought for me personally. So I just think when it, the writing in this was all over the place, I think it's very confusing um, with how some things are organized in order to make the story work as a whole. And it's just it's very disappointing to hear. I'm using that word a lot, but it just is because I love J.K. Rowling. And I love uh, her writing and what she does. But I think in terms of a screenplay, it just does not work. And I think it makes Grindelwald just a little worse than. Uh, say the first Fantastic Beast. 
So, <laughs> uh, I, I also agree with you. I think uh, the script as well as the editing and the pacing are probably oh, my yeah, biggest editing, issues yeah. with, the, with the film. For sure. Um, but I think this is a better script <laughs> than uh, the first Fantastic Beast because the first Fantastic Beast to me didn't know what it wanted to be. And, and you're right, I was sold on, we were gonna have this magical adventure with Eddie Redmayne and these new characters to go after all these uh, these beasts that are, like I wanted two hours of like 50 beasts just going crazy. Yeah. And really in the first one you only get that for a little bit. And I think she didn't really know what she wanted to do with it and I think in the second sure. one she figured out that no, I am going to use Newt, but it's more... Because uh, we know the, the third one's going to be about... This isn't a spoiler. Like, you should know this. The third one is going to be about Dumbledore and Grindelwald. They're setting up for that. Uh, for that epic battle that's in the Harry Potter uh, lore that we hear about. Yeah. And I am very excited to see that. I really do want to see that. That's my only so, part... That's the only thing that I'm really excited for in this franchise. Other yeah, than like, that. I am excited for a third film because yeah. of Jude Law. And, uh... And, and I think Johnny is, is, I think all the characters, a lot of the characters in the first are, a lot of the ones that are very passive uh, become very active in this one, at least, maybe not very, but they have something to do. So I am more into it because they're doing something. In the first one, there's a lot of just kind of just looking around like this and sad life's dealt you a bad hand and it's you're not doing anything active they're a lot of passive and yeah in the second one they take a lot of the characters i did more enjoy the new inter in in characters they introduced in the first one i get a get a they, they take a step back says i figure out how to yeah. talk here they take a step back <laughs> And in, and that was okay with me. I, I didn't I didn't need that. I thought it worked. There are some good action sequences. So yeah, where the writing is the struggle, I did think it improved upon the first one. And I don't hate either of these movies. They're just bland. They're a bland dinner. Sure. Is really what they are. And <laughs> and to bring the movies or the meals into the movies right here. But yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah. So I, I I we have a lot of the same. Yeah, she was with the film, right. but for me it was like I preferred this one, and Kyle's like I preferred the other one. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we both prefer the third one when it comes out. Honest, like I said, like honestly, I'm not excited for a third one. Like nothing about these two movies has. Didn't any you more just say that you were me, I, the only I thing you're getting, excited I was getting for? Oh, okay. The only well. thing. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> you're just you're just like I'm not excited at all. But four minutes ago, you just said you were a little excited. But that is the one aspect, and hopefully that does have a payoff. And if it does, doesn't, I think that will be frustrating for me as well as a lot of Harry Potter fans as well because that's a big deal in the in the wizarding world or Harry Potter land or w whatever it's called sorry I'm not the, I'm, I love Harry Potter but I'm not a Potter head to say the least so hopefully that delivers really well in the next one and I, I think it will I think she's gonna keep improving mm -hmm. and I think she'll figure it out and I think we're gonna get something hopefully de pretty decent because you know I would I'd put you know if we're doing all the Potter films I put both these movies kind of at the bottom with the Potter, the, the yeah, big series I that agree. I don't enjoy as much. I may enjoy like, I'm, I don't know, I may enjoy this more than one of the the first Harry Potter movies that it doesn't age as well with me and it's mostly sure. nostalgia at this sure. point where the, a lot of the other ones are so much better. Yeah. Uh, but it just kind of depends. Uh, that would be a good video we should do when the next one comes out, a top like rank all the Harry Potter movies. That would be a good, yeah, a good one. We did one a couple of years ago, I believe. Didn't Probably bef before Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, did. maybe an updated one though. See if anything changed at all. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, guys, what did you think? We've got a lot of debates here. If you'd love to see a bigger debate, we get into some spoilers because we've gotten <laughs> into some heated talks. Uh, comment below and let us know if you want it because maybe we could throw that on a Weaver wire if I ever do that again, which I want, Daryl. And I've uh, just been busy. Uh, so. Yeah, guys, comment below. Let us know. Remember to like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. All the buttons are somewhere there. And as always, thanks for watching, Mom. See you guys.